Okay, here we are. We are playing Napoleonic Total War, a mod for Napoleon's Total War. Uh, a very, very good mod. I think it's version 9.1 at this point, or 8.9, 9.1, somewhere in there. And uh, I'm playing the Austrians, and it is... 1805, September 1805, historically they're about to get just completely massacred by the French, but uh, this will be different. Our first mission is to liberate, liberate Bavaria, which, as it's the first encounter of a total war game it's usually on the easier side but I'm still gonna go in there with a big old army I think if I can put one together uh, and reorganize the Austrian army whatever that means uh, okay uh, right so what do we have here? Vienna, my capital. A handful of dudes, no generals. Alright, first thing we gotta build is a court of appeals because without laws, what kind of empire can you have? Uh, there's my gentleman, Clement. You go over here to this uh, lovely college. And, uh, yeah, you start learning about, or helping them learn about, uh, what? Classical economics. Seven turns for classical economics because we need money to build our empire, correct? And might as well start with the classics. All right. And that's right, at this first turn, we don't barely have any roads between my cities, do I? So I'm gonna go through and build infrastructure because that's the next most responsible thing to do, right? So I'll build that road up to something decent. All these others aren't even roads. You got a dirt path to lead your army down. It's not very uh, efficient. So, uh, in the name of efficiency, we're going to uh, build a bunch of roads on this first turn. Get it out of the way. Don't know how much more of that we're going to be able to afford to do. All right, that's all of them. Okay, and I still have money left over. Good. I think I will. Uh, I'll spend money. I'm not going to buy any troops yet, but I will buy. Set up more courts of appeal and a court of justice. Really, maybe I should not. Build a court of another court of appeals. Maybe we may need more courts of justice. Yes, I do. Can I afford one more? Or do they cost too much? I don't have my glasses on. No, they cost too much. Okay. Well, let's see. I have thirteen hundred whatever left, and so I'll build some clearances in this safe area north of Vienna. That's not bad. I can probably build another one. That was a little bit too close to the Turks, I think. Yeah. Belgrade's right there. I don't need to build something that they can snake up there with a guy. Budapest. That's a little better. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try Budapest. Alright. Money is spent. The science is figured out. Let's see what kind of government we have. Nice hat. 
Uh huh. Okay. Look at these fools. Are any of them mini, uh, do we have any blockheads? Uh, seems I know what he's doing. Uh, very much so. Okay. Wow. Uh. Hmm. Wartenberg, you'd think we would, uh, we would have done okay in 1805. So how did we get just completely massacred? Yeah, we don't have any numbnuts. Plus one management. How about the uh, extra people down here? Uh, somebody is as good as that guy in Navy. Uh, uh, nobody is special. Okay. Not going to be replacing any of my ministers. So, let's look at the army. Uh, there's Bavaria, target number one. What do they have? Handful of dudes. No, gonna, gonna have a handful of. Uh, of uh, citizens in uniform. All right, General Mack, General Ferdinand, that's what I'm going to call him. Another general. Well, this guy I'm going to send to Vienna. Just the guy. His troops. Troops, I hope they'll meet with them next turn. Try to build this guy up as much as I can. Oh, we got, oh, we got another guy, another cannon there. I gotta move them down there, too. Need all the cannons in one place. I like my cannons. Uh, not quite sure what to do with those guys. Are they any good? I look at the morale of the infantry units, or all the units really, but that's what I judge. How long are they going to stick around in a fight? That guy's a 20, a 25, 30, and the grenadiers are 45s. I think I'll leave one guy behind. And all of these guys will come this way. And we're going to pile up everybody just outside of Bavaria. How about that? All right. And Innsbruck. Yeah. That guy. I have another guy around here someplace. Oh, there he is. Yep, there's our stud. Look at all them stars. Osterach. Osterach. I can't even pronounce it. I'm going to call him Archduke Charles. Archduke Charles. And this is... Andre Messina. <coughs> Messina. One of the greatest French generals ever, until he went to Spain. Uh, he's not very big, is he? I could clean his clock right now. He's going to run away, though. Which might not be the worst thing. Run away. You are foolish. You really thought you could hang with me, huh, Messina? You got some heavy cavalry, and that's nice. And you have a gun. Your distinct lack of caval of infantry is going to uh, really hurt you. I thought you were going to run. But that's fine. Uh, 
All right. He should be more than five star. Well, I guess. What are you going to do? You can't make everybody Napoleon. Even if he was kind of on par with Napoleon in terms of ability. But. Let's see what happens. Hmm. The Battle of Northern Italy without actually being... Without actually attacking Northern Italian troops. Alright. That's a good infantry units too. None of those guys are stiffs. Uh, where are they? There. There's some good, good land around here. Is this one? Is this okay? I, I hooked up my gun. Uh, I bet you it's going to shoot into those dunes and it's going to be worthless. Is this a little higher? It is. Uh, it's all flat. So I guess I could probably pick the worst place to set up my gun. Right here, I'm guessing. Hopefully they get to shoot at something besides just hills. I can never quite read the terrain right. But it's okay. It's uh, small potatoes in this fight, I think. I'll put all these guys. On one side and him on the other. Sort these guys out. Add a three rank and a stick three rank. And then put this guy next to the gun in the trees, kind of under coverage. What we don't want is my cannon shooting my guys, or even, you know, deciding to move and shoot my guys. We want no shooting of guys, of your own guys, in this. Alright, I'll put this guy over here, out of the way, but not too out of the way. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is a three pounder, a three pounder. Wow, that is a big shotgun, pretty much, with a cannonball instead of or a slug thrower, but let's see if I can, see if these guys are gonna advance on me. What do we have here? Veteran line infantry and an eight pounder. Go ahead and start, start shooting, gun. I don't hear anything. Ah, I'm shooting hilltops. I love that. That's my favorite, favorite thing. And it doesn't look like they're coming. So, I guess I can stop shooting the hilltops. Limber the guns. 
move up to the top of the hill. Pretty sure they're not, they're not coming. I'm pretty sure I limbered that. Didn't I? No, I guess I didn't. I hit the wrong button. Oh no! Alright, you come up here to this spot. Just kind of hang out until the gun gets up there. Make sure that they're careful we don't try to sweep in. I'll just keep an eye on the map. There we go. Let's try putting the gun here. You can do it. You can do it. You can move out of that tree. I think cavalry stay out and about. Come on, Messina. Is that classic French aggression? Come get a taste. Let's try to put you there instead. I'll try to put you guys. Right there. Their cannons, for whatever reason, aren't shooting, and that's fine. I don't mind it when they don't shoot me with their cannons. I am partial to not being shot by cannons. there. I guess I could have sped up a little bit. There we go. Never rarely remember to do that. That leads to too many tragedies. Alright, un unlimber that bad boy. Okay, you should probably come over here. You can probably hang out here. Well, oh, enemy guns like to shoot my guns, but... I'm gonna shoot your guys. Is that Messina running around over there? I'm not beyond shooting at people's generals. It looks like my gun's gonna get through though. I think there's some cavalry back there. Let's see if I can hit their gun. If they're their infantry there. Their cannons are still limbered. Curious, curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Hmm. Now you're just begging me to shoot your guy, aren't you? Oh, my cannons are apparently still shooting these guys, so go ahead and shoot those guys then, if you need, if you must. 
I'm wondering if they're gonna come attack me after I hit their guys. If I ever do hit the guys. Guns are notoriously hard to shoot at with cannons in this thing. Yeah. Well. I'm glad I'm in range at least. One second. Well, are they shooting back? The nerve. You must be stopped. You guys go over there. You guys come over here. And the rule is that none of you get to be shot by my cannons. That's my rule. Okay. Ah. They were accidentally hit by one of my cannon shots. Ah. Let's see if I can accidentally hit them again. Oh, that was close. Close enough. Oh! Are oh, that Dragoons? That's Heavy Cowboy. Appreciate you guys stick sticking around long enough for me to shoot you with my cannons. Seem to be killing some of the guys. My infantry has moved up appropriately. Keeping my oh, keeping my eye on their cavalry, which is slowly being killed by my three pounders, tiny little balls ripping holes in their line. Oh, isn't he proper looking? Wow. Probably need a breastplate though, like these guys. Although I don't know why they have breastplates, because they're not cuirassiers. Oh, here we go. It's, is it showtime or is that just for kicks? I'm tired of getting shot up by my guys. Yep. Alright, guys. Um. Give them canister, guys. Form square. Form square. I don't care if you're close to their cannons. Okay, you can stop forming square. And I'm going to turn you on defensive, though. Dude, that's just silly. Well, where are you going now? Now that you've lost almost half your guys. You're gonna go over here and bother these guys? That, for some reason, haven't left square formation. What are you doing? Where are you guys going? Oh, that's the general. What the heck is he? I guess he was trying to give his men some confidence. His soon to be routing dragoons. Alright. 
you. Swing around over here, why don't you? How can they still be there? Below 50% strength. There he goes. Okay. Solid shot for the cannons again. Take this guy out of square. 42. I don't think he's coming back. Okay, line up here, guys. Stop pretending to be in square. Alright. You're shooting at this guy and causing no damages because, like I said, he's a cannon. But I'm going to have you move up and have. No, just move up. Don't. You kill that cannon. Now uh, all the the latecomers. And the cavalry quietly run, runs over your your guns. Thank you for playing. And now they will back up again so that they don't get shot too much. They did their job. You, I miss those guys. Uh, no problem. How are we doing? 117. He's not going to last too long. Well, missing you. Lost some of your aid to camp, it looks like. I know you're in the trees, but you're by yourself, too. Oh, well, they did rally. Those fart knocker cavalry did. Are they like anybody good? Oh, they are cuirassiers. They aren't. They aren't. They're not just. I thought they were dragoons. Losing some cred points there. Thought their helmets were fan fancier than that. Oh, what are you gonna do? Really? Exhausted. Almost at one third strength. These guys are fresh. So, what am I even waiting for? Shoot your own cavalry. Uh, they don't like charging into the trees, but split. So much for their cavalry again. <laughs> Let's get Messina while we're here. It would be nice if there was a possibility of capturing him, but this game is particularly brutal. No, oh, where are you going? Where are you going, huh? Did this guy route? That guy routed. I think I will limber my gun so that I don't accidentally shoot my guys. Make sure they don't rally. Try to make sure that they don't really. How are you guys doing? Still green. Still got the green bar of success. These guys aren't looking too good. Shaken, very tired. Mine are exhausted. They don't like charging into trees. Turned to orange. Orange is not green, but they routed. So we gotta take advantage of that. Oh, and he's 
these guys rallied. Or, no, they didn't. Okay. And that is heroic. I think Messina is still alive, though. I guess I could have chased him down, but that's okay. All right. Uh, pull him back into my territory so he can heal up, even though it's at a crap replenishment rate. Got some guys here. Hi, guys. Let's see what you have. That's a 30, a 40, a 10. That's pretty much retired bricklayers in uniform. Nothing against bricklayers, but they aren't soldiers. At a 10 morale, you're not soldiers. You're just in uniform. All right. So that's a really nice infant or cavalry unit, really nice infantry unit. Gun actually took some hit somehow. They must have got shot or something. A lucky shot from a cannon. All right. He got a little beat up, but I'm not too worried about him. 80 is better than 60. And the vaunted famous Austrian Navy. That's it. One ship, and it's not even a good one. It's a brig. And a trade ship. All right, let's go and try to set up some trade in Africa. And I will honestly try not to forget that you're actually there. And that is the entire Austrian fleet. Three guys there. I'm going to move these cavalry up here because I'm not sure how soon I'm going to need them. I'm not at war with the Turks. I'm just at war with France. Let's hope it stays that way for a while. France and its satellite peoples like Northern Italy, Munich, and Württemberg, and Switzerland, and well, freaking the rest of everybody over huh? west of Hanover. Okay, uh, let's, before we click any buttons, let's talk to people. See, we were at war with France and Spain, of course. Ottomans are indifferent, so let's try and set up trade. I'm not sure what trade does. No, they accepted it. So we set up trade with the Turks, allied with Great Britain and with trade. The same with Russia. All right, now all the minor countries now. Let's, that's the Saxons. Let's hook up with the Saxons because they're quite near our territory. Trade agreement. Be delighted, that's great. And I don't apparently have enough ports or other resources to uh, ally with any of these guys or to form trade agreements with anybody else. Uh, of course, I'm at war with them, but I don't think I'll see them. They're quite up north. Bavaria uh, is about to get crushed next turn. Uh, Northern Italy hmm, might get crushed next turn. The Swiss I don't know if I'm going to take the Swiss out. I'll have to talk to the Swiss about that. Württemberg, you're probably going down, because anybody pretty much north of... north of... Yeah, pretty much anything north of... 
Italy, but uh, south of English interests or Prussian interests is mine. All of it. Uh, okay. Oh, that was easy. Uh, what kind of victory conditions do I have? Prestige. Yeah, whatever. Uh huh. Victory conditions. Okay, well, that was early September. I didn't move my spy. I always forget something. Really? You're gonna come and come up and try to snake my gun? I think I will decline the attack. And then I will run away from your attack. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Thank you for leaving Hanover less defended. Confederation of the Rhine. We're about to be crushed. You are mine. All your territories are mine. Just so you know. Uh, form an alliance with Prussia. Oh, good idea. All right, all those roads got built. Good, good. The Court of Justice. And I'm out of money again. All right. We got this irritating mist on the ground. Is there anybody in? There's nobody in Munich. So I, I'm not going to be able to reinforce myself. So I bet not only can I snake you, but I can go take Munich. I don't have enough troops over here, right? Uh, not quite. I'll just snake you because you're stupid enough to leave your home city. Oh, that's an auto fight right there. Look at that. Oh. They're going to retreat, though. That's okay. In this case, I don't mind. Oh, they didn't retreat. Aww. Oh. don't know if I'll be able to make it. Nope. So I will do the tricky thing. The cavalry have more range. In fact, yep, I attack with everything except the guns. And that guy. I should be able to do this. Why are you cheating? There we go. He just needed to cheat. All right. Thank you for surrendering. I will uh, peacefully occupy Munich, or, yeah, Munich. And uh, I will rebuild the uh, city that you decided to burn down. And I will move everybody except those two guns into the city just because it makes me feel good. So that was easy. Uh, and move this guy out here so that those two guns will heal, right? Yep, there we go. Alright, move up, bring up the guns, bring up the guns. 
I'm glad that guy died and didn't retreat or didn't escape. I'm gonna have to go chase him down. All right. Now I'm going to assume. Going to assume there is a spy. I'm going to send him over here to see if he can see anything. I know Messina is still over there someplace. I got too many guys there for me to attack just this second. But. Smack Messina around a little bit, and then took Bavaria without a, well, with a fight, but with an easier fight than it should have been. Okay. Well, let's see. I have more money to spend. Oh, that's right, I got money for taking, for taking, for victory condition. Thank you. What shall ever, whatever shall I build? How about a factory? Then I will also talk to the Prussians. You're friendly. Let's, let's be allies. And that, it is that easy. We are allies with the Prussians. He's delighted. We'll see how long that lasts. All right. Did I get money for that? Or what did I get for that? I guess I just got an alliance. Oh, an alliance. oh I have other people that I can... Uh, the Hess. You will be mine too. But for now, let's do a trade agreement. And he's delighted too. Everybody is just so delighted. All right. Um, how big are you guys? Uh, no, Messina's not going to give up. He's going to heal up and come back. And right now I have enough troops in Germany. I don't think Wurttemberg's going to it's <laughs> not going to stop that. I have to heal up, but it's not going to take that long. I don't need guys yet, so... What else should I build? Ah, a marketplace or another school? I like having schools. Because everybody is so freaking stingy when it comes to trading technology. Although I think they're expensive, but I don't care. One school, a classic economics, for, for some reason the Austrians don't know. Alright. Um... Maybe a staff college will be the next thing. Okay, well. Uh, kind of crap troops, aren't these? Why do we keep the crap to troops and I mean, this is sunny in Venice. Okay. Heal up, boys, heal up. Not buying new guys yet. <gasps> oh, I forgot to move my damn ships. But they move by themselves far enough. Good. Where are you going? 
What are you doing? Explain yourself, Messina. You thought my city was empty? That you and seven of your brothers could step in there and... Ute. I don't know how you got up there that fast, but I will gladly intercept you and see if you stick around to fight. I'm thinking you're dead because you and your seven brothers are taking on an entire unit of infantry. A surprise tactic. Sometimes the AI kind of forces things, shall we say. I don't th <laughs> I'd like to think that the historical Messina would never be caught in such a situation where he would be ambushed by a troop of 153 militia. That is the only advantage he has, or the only thing he has, is that my guys are total stiffs. Alright, where is he? There he is. Move towards this, move towards the eight guys with your 153. You have 153 cobblers going up against one of the greatest generals of all time. But he only has seven buddies with him. I think he can take him. All right. Let's speed up a little bit. Let's see. Where are they going? Are they going anywhere? They seem to be standing there. I get light infantry behavior with these guys. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Might be pretty meaningless, but it's pretty. Here I am with a bunch of guerrilla warfare warfare folks. I, I'm not. I don't think I can call somebody with your level of morale. Yeah, ten morale. I don't think I can call you guerrillas. I think I, I'm going to call you uh, concerned citizens with uniforms and guns. But you probably don't barely know how to use. Eight guys. Well, I appreciate you standing there, giving me a chance to line up my guys to shoot you. Um, feel free to continue to do that. Ah, oh, here they come. This is gonna, I gotta do this slowly. <sighs> Can we hit anybody? <laughs> you, you, you do see that big curtain of guys shooting you with guns, right? Are you waiting for me to kill some of your dudes? Messina, come on. You're better than this. There we go. You want to see, see your face when you get blown off your horse. Some of my guys ever hit any, anything. Killed one of them. Two of them. Oh, they're starting. Oh, he's getting scared. Better rally your troops. <laughs> one of the strangest occurrences in the Napoleonic Wars. When General Messina and his aide-de-camp took on an, in, an entire battalion of infantry by themselves. And we 
we didn't lose anybody. That's that's what I like. I I like that more than anything else. Oh no more Messina. That's sad. What a strange turn of events. I wonder why he didn't think I was there. Alright, let's move this trade ship over here. Should be able to hook up some Egyptian trade. Yep. Boop. An Egyptian trade line. Okay. Oh, the Austrian Navy is doing something. Alright, now back to our regularly scheduled program. 3400. They have some money. Another cans. Alright, how many guys do we have there? We have two guns. I want to put all the guns in one place. Or four guns, anyways. Alright, now which stiffs should I get rid of? Well, first of all, we only need one general. Uh, 24, that's kind of low. Is 24 the lowest? Looks like 24 is the lowest. Those are light infantry. Yeah. You guys. You guys and the general. And oops. Trade out. I need four cannons in General Max Army. You go over here and form up another army. Off to a good start. Actually. I should have had them set in Munich while these guys moved on. Okay, move! Oh, they can still make it good. Alright, you guys hold Bavaria. Here come the Russians. That would be uh, our boy Kutasov. Probably. We're a little bit shot up, but considering how many French are not there, I think we'll be okay. I don't know who's in charge there. Who are they? Oh, just a couple guys. You know, with Messina gone, I don't think I need to worry about the South as much. I'm going to take my spy back. And heck, these guys might as well come back too. I will build some guys as a garrison in Venice. Uh, how about... Um, 25 line infantry dudes, two, sufficient. All right. I wanted to build that uh, Vienna. I want to get, still can't get it. How much does it cost? Meh. Okay, well then I'll, I'll build guys. I'm gonna build something. So I'm gonna build the sea units of grenadiers. Sufficient. Alright. Just two guys there. Okay. Well, let's see what happens next. Swiss, are they gonna reach out? Say hi. 
only only the one guy there, the <laughs> militia responsible for cutting down Messina. Okay. Um yeah, let's see. That was a faster turn. Anything change on the diplomatic front? And a whole lot of no. Okay. Well, somebody may contact me about the massive army of Austrians on their border. Uh, nothing, nothing to get excited about there. I have two pillows under my on my chair and still my advice to you do not get sciatica oh uh, okay well you can uh, help my schools uh, punishing the collaborators that would be Württemberg Stutt Stuttgart Going down. All right. This guy, another gentleman, come over. You too, pump up this school over here. That's a school, right? Yeah. You do that. Um, Okay, I have 4,000. That should be enough to improve my staff college. All right, that will... I can make guards now, right? Once, once that gets built. A variety of grenadiers. You know, specific regiments. Hmm. Yeah, that took 4,000. Ridiculous. All right, Mr. Spy, I need you to keep an eye on the French. French are going to come eventually, so I need you to oh, look out for that. Victor, they're going to fill out with fart knockers too. Well, yep, that's a lot of partisans. See, a morale of 18. That is so much better than 10. They got some uh, adequate cavalry. I only have one cannon, so I can pretty much ignore that. They have a lot of stiffs, too, in the low 20s or high 20s. Somehow they got some sappers. Not very much in the way of quality line line infantry compared to my boys. Although we're not so far. The plan will be to smash them to pieces with my cannons. Or I can just hold the siege. See if they attack me. I think I will. Just hold on to that siege for a second. And hope that the French aren't closer. Yeah, 
He is so talented, this guy. All right, what do we have here? 30, 20, 25, 25. I'll leave the 20 in the general. All right, we have almost two stacks, two fully stacked. And they're not complaining too much in Bavaria. Thank you very much. All right, they're complaining a little bit there, but the ends justify the means. Say hello to my stinky friend. Now, oh, with two armies there, let's see what odds you give me. I think this is an auto fight. Although all my guys will be damaged, but I don't think the French are close yet to counterattacking, that is. Snaked him. Now, a big question. To liberate it and let them build their own defense? Or to occupy it and have to defend it myself. I think I'll liberate it because I don't feel like defending it. And I'll get some extra guys out of it. And there we are. We have two completely full armies that need a couple days to rest. All right. A new nation, Wurttemberg. Punishing the collaborators. They are punished. What's this one say? Oh, I guess I did. Courageous leader. Plus six to morale. Shoot, yeah! Alright. Well, I think I'm going to let you guys just kind of hang out next to each other if somebody is stupid enough to attack. I don't, I mean, um, Messina's already gone, so I, nobody else is going to make a stupid attack. All right. Let's see. Why are the Russians in, so the Russians stayed there last turn. Okay, well, I can, this is a very important bridge. Um, and it is possible that the French have developed paratroopers in any second now. <laughs> They're going to threaten Vienna, so the Russians need to stay instead of pressing the attack into Switzerland, which was... Jerk. Let's... Don't forget our Turkish friends. Hopefully they stay friends. All right. Not going to build any proud uh, lumber mill. Not going to build any proud Austrian navy just yet. Really not feeling the Austrian Navy. Doesn't look like I have anything else to build for a couple. Oh, there we go. Oh, but it's that one down there by Turkey, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Belgrade. I should just go take Belgrade. I probably will. Let's build some manufacturing jobs in the Empire. The Holy, Ro Holy Roman Empire is still around. So. Okay. That is that.
I'm curious to see what happens next. I did forget to make a trade agreement with Wharton with a new country. Aha! Switzerland. Just... Just ducky. They want to give me a thousand for a peace treaty. I don't need to invade Switzerland. So, okay. Oh, darn it. I was going to have him. I was going to have him break his alliance with France. Meh. I always forget little details like that. Where's this guy? He's also in Bavaria. Okay. Two guys in Venice. My school hasn't been built yet. There's that guy. Who's this guy? Uh huh. That guy is a taxidermist. Oh, that's great. Good a little uh, little extra knowledge there. A little bit of color. All right, you guys. I want you to make that the greatest school in the world. That's my money, like 42, 44. Pretty good. I might build some troops. Uh, I got more buildings to build. I don't want to build that. Uh, what's this? Supply Depot, where is it? Uh, pretty good place for one. Okay. And I can probably build one more thing, or more guys. Uh, more, more buildings. Buildings mean money. We need that good money. Oh, the Russians moved. Yay! Maybe the Russians will invade Switzerland. But I'm going to talk to the Swiss right now. They're very friendly. I will offer them a trade agreement. And they will break an alliance with France. I feel I can, I feel I can invade your territory then. Uh, we're still, uh, still a bit shot up. A little bit. Maybe I will, uh, I'll send both my armies over here. Doo doo doo. Don't mind us. Little, poor little Switzerland. You really shouldn't have turned down that offer. It was a good offer. You would have gotten a good trade agreement out of it. I wonder who's over there. They've got carabiners, carabiners, carabiners. They must be good. Darn it, why didn't they take my deal? Maybe if I gave them a couple hundred bucks, they would have done it. Whatever. I have grenadiers coming next turn, I think. Yep. Uh, I should probably build some more cavalry. There's some crap cavalry. What's up with that? 
a good a good cat wave not available. How about a twelve pounder? Can we build twelve? I can't even build twelve pounders. I don't have enough money. I'll build a six pounder. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I think Venice is good. Unless the Turks into the war. Two of the best armies in the game stacked up on your border, Switzerland. And the Russians maybe the Russians are gonna go take north north northern Italy because Oh good. Good good good. Another spy. I'll go over here. I, don't, I really don't think the French are going to do anything in the south. They're going, they're going to pound their way through Strasbourg. That's my guess. They only have three guys there. But the Russians are moving south, it looks like. Or maybe they'll take northern Italy. Depend on me to take Switzerland. All right, Switzerland. I'm gonna give you one last chance. You're very friendly. A grass trade agreement. Break alliance with the French. And I'll give you a payment. No, I'll give you a technology conscription. Everybody needs conscription. Good. I will not invade your territory then. Giving my guys another turn to rest. And once again, this time I'm going to set up a trade agreement. Alright. Protectorate has a trade agreement. Alright. Okay. How are we doing on that? Ah, oh, they did get built. All right. So what do you want to build? How about uh, that one? Yeah. Grenadiers. The line's broken. By the pre freaking Prussians. Some factories. Good, good. And a spy, that's right. You hang out by this bridge and you tell me when the French come. If the French come. I thought I asked you to break, an, break your alliance with the French. Or did I just I was pretty sure I asked you to break your alliance with the French. Damn it. Alright, let's try it again. I was pretty damn sure that I asked you to break the alliance with the French. Maybe it unclicked it. Become protector. No, I just break your alliance with French. With the French. You can keep it with the freaking Spanish. I'll offer you a payment of 1,000, whatever they are. And you must take it. Well, I'm going to invade your territory then. OK. 
Okay. Well, you're not giving me any other choice here, so I'm going to just declare war on you and crush you like a grape. Whichever units are the least shot up should all get together and go do a magnificent thing. Oh, they stacked out with guys. Militia. And their grenadiers are 25s. That's... That's pretty frightening. Alright. Well, then let's bring up the other guy, too. They'll surrender in five turns. Or not. They will be absolutely pulverized again and again. I don't feel like running the battle. Victory! Do I want to take Switzerland? I think I do. <clears throat> Rebuild your buildings that your guys burned down. All right. Don't mind us. Yes, see Switzerland. Gave you a couple chances there to do the right thing. Decided not to. Very foolish of you. Uh, what do we have down here that I can build? Anything worth building? Oh, another warehouse. What's this? That's a mine. Uh, we're still in. Construction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair amount of mines. Alright, well, we don't have that much money left anyway, so. Okay, you go there. I forgot what that it, where where that other school was, but I'm pretty sure I want to. Yeah, it's fine. Grenadiers, or do I just want to build this army up until I need it? I mean, it's possible that the French are going to come flying in out of nowhere, but. Frankly, I think I'm ready for it. It make, made quick work of Lower Germany. I'm indifferent for the Prussians. Why am I indifferent for the Prussians? Who are they at war with? Nobody. The Saxons and the Hessians are their only allies. Hmm, that's surprising. Not even the Russians or the British. Request alliance? I don't think they're going to take it. Maybe I have a technology they want. Give them division of labor 
if they accept an alliance and a payment of 791 whatevers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not give agreement. Yeah, yeah, I was going to give you a bunch of free stuff and you still don't want to trade. It makes you a jerk. You can all just go away. Is it because I took Munich and Württemberg from you? You didn't get the chance to swing down there and get them? You weren't even going to try. You got. You haven't even taken Hanover from the French yet. Jerks. Amateurs. Can't stand them. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to stop Chapter 1 of this ongoing siege. Uh, I very much imagine that I will be seeing the French soon. Uh, Marshal Ney and Marat and Daval. Definitely Napoleon. But they really do got to put up more of a fight than Germany did, because that was some kind of ugly. Okay. Uh, until next time, this is Jomo Rising, signing off.